Uh, my name is Paddy McAvoy. Uh, I'm recording this on the day of Vin Garbett's funeral. It's Friday, June 16th, 2017. This is Vin Garbett, a tribute. Our dear friend Vin Garbett was Slaggy Island put to music. Vin was the open-throated blast of the east wind. Vin was the guttural vernacular of South Bank. Vin was the beating heart of Rosebury Topping. Vin was a lightning conductor, ever raging against man's inhumanity to man. Vin, the healer, the one-to-one -one communicator, was a practitioner of the art of soul-to-soul -soul resuscitation. Vin was the thrilling, trilling, whistling, soaring notes of the lark, who has now saluted the sky, whistle in hand. Vin was an instrument chosen by the gods as their mouthpiece. Vin sang his heart out, that great heart that beat out the rhythms of our time. Vin's light-hearted gravitas helped us laugh through our tears. Vin, the Teesside troubadour, the bard of Eston, the jingle jangle minstrel, the pied piper of the Raphael curls, led his global entourage to a good place. Vin has left us somewhere on the road to Yall with a smile in our grieving hearts. Vin was the unvarnished visionary voice of the vulnerable and the voiceless. Vin's belly laugh is now cheering up a downcast deity. Vin was a life force who lightened the load of all those whose lives he touched. Vin, the Tommy Cooper of the folk world, made us laugh and marvel at how a gift of such consummate professionalism could be wrapped up in such a parcel of egetry. Just like that. Vin's life stood four square on the foundations of his love for his adored wife, Pat, who was the scaffolding around his existence, and of his beloved children and grandchildren, of his deep and sincere faith, which inspired his passion for justice of all kinds, both human and environmental of his ardent love of music and language, and the fact that everything he took on board was grist to his creative mill. Vin Garbett, legend who has now entered the pantheon, storyteller, songsmith, Shanachi, raconteur of the innocently hilarious, raised us up with his absurd patter and then put us down again in a more enlightened place, shedding tears of joy at our predicament. He was the maestro of the high-wire, corny, belaboured, clunking pun. Norman Wisdom, the Yorkshire Moors. Hamish the Tambourine Man, But Come Ye Back. Twar Eggs, Parboiled Eggs, Buttermere Toast, and of course, top of the list, Rudyard Kipling. As Pete Betts, his old friend, would have said, they won't make him like Vin anymore. But our dear friend Vin has stepped off life's carousel a few stops too early in mid-jest, leaving us groping for the punchline. Farewell, Vin, dear friend. May your valiant and noble soul be at God's right hand. Slán lath a inshin a chori yíl er yesh lov de gorev do onam kroga huoso. At the right hand of God, may your brave, noble soul reside. Vin and I go back to Ironbridge in Shropshire in 1971. I already knew about Vin because he was getting to be fairly well known in the folk music world in the late 60s. And our friend Barry Slater, um, who I was teaching with in Ironbridge in the Abraham Derby School was a friend of Vin's. Barry had written one of Vin's songs, The Streets of Stades, and we had a folk club in Ironbridge and Vin would do gigs there and I met Vin through Barry. And Vin turned out to be a beautiful whistle player and as well as a very remarkable human being. So we started playing whistle tunes and then played around with tunes and would find roots through tunes that uh, were not in the original melody 
and we enjoyed that very much and every time we played every time we met we played a few tunes and uh, played around with them and, and, and uh, this went on for years and years and years uh, my wife Carol and I did little bits on recordings for uh, for Vin and uh, when I left Shropshire and moved to London Vin would stay with us stay over with us and um, we had many wide-ranging discussions. Vin, Vin was an omnivore as far as information, as far as impressions of the world were concerned. He's passionately interested in, in, in the welfare of you, poor, poor people, uh, dispossessed people, and wrote songs about East Timor, El Salvador, Nicaragua, the Middle East, um, wherever there was something to to discomfort the powerful, Finn was there. And that has been the story of his life. He was a remarkable human being. Um, I think Finn was uh, a citizen of Tiernanog. He has left us a lot earlier than we would have liked him to have gone, but it would not have fitted in with I think our image of Vin for him to have gone a different way. This was this is the appropriate way for him to go. Uh, we're heartbroken at his at his departure, and it has um, has reverberations right throughout the world. People are quite taken aback at how um, how much what an, an impression he made on them. And I personally believe that this will continue. And uh, a lot of people are, have yet to discover the genius of Vin Garbutt. Great. Superb. Okay. Yep.